Thank you guys, thank you guys so much. I am your host. Welcome one, welcome all. This is the show where we talk everything McMorris and McMorris. If you are not familiar with McMorris and McMorris, it was a TV show on MTV filmed seven years ago. My brother Mark is sitting on the peak of professional snowboarding right now, about to drop in. I have a dream come true of a job. Before I go any further, I want to bring in my co-host, my younger brother. You know him, you love him. Mark McMorris, hey. come on in. How are you, Mr. I'm lovely, thanks. How are you? I'm wonderful, I'm wonderful. I'm excited to kick this thing off. Episode seven, triple threat. You surf, you snowboard, you skateboard, all in one day. The holy grail, if you will. What do you remember from us trying to attempt this holy grail, Mark? What I remember is it being absolutely a logistical nightmare and we put all our chips in to complete this triple threat, but we came up short. But right now it's super foggy and it's not looking that good. A Little bit of a hiccup in the morale. Not giving up on the three shreds, but it might just have to be a different shred. So we ended up doing the water sport as in a rope jump. So, wasn't the triple threat, but we tried. I think there was things that we did in that episode that messed up our juju, if you will. Wow, okay, I, I didn't know we were talking juju today. So, if we can go into the juju, and the juju was there, I did a frontside ollie at Alouette, felt like Rick McCrank, and then we got to snowboard on the glacier, you built your little kicker, did a backside rodeo, I rode that spine, and surely we were meant to go surfing into Fino. So those are all the highlights of it. I think the lowlights of it, and when I look back at the episode, uh, I think maybe pooping in the lake at Alouette Lake that was, was maybe. A low. Mark decides to, uh, instead of just taking off his pants, which Fergie did, Mark takes every article of clothing off he owns. <laughs> I love how it echoed. That's what the echo says, I pooped. That was a low, that was maybe a no-no and maybe got us some bad uh, But also karma. a win for me at the time. And why don't you tell the folks at home why that well, is a win? You know what, I was dealing with a lot of stress and I was having a tough time releasing my bowels, if you will. Okay. Boys, let's get it together here. We're here to skate, not to be out in the water pooping all day long. <laughs> I think my bad juju, I think my bad omen, Mark, was the fact that I didn't flip off the rope swing. And that has haunted me ever since. Seven years, I haven't been able to sleep, Mark. It looks like I was already in the water, but that's just urine in my pants. Because this is gnarly. I'm actually kind of scared. As little, little kids, you were the first one to be able to backflip on a trampoline. I had to learn after. I'm pretty sure you were the first one to flip on a snowboard. but. What's up with the rope swing? You just hang on too long and then you get all worried? I'm so scared. I think maybe that's a part of it, but if you can reference this photo right here, a lot of people forget we were doing a selfie challenge in there, right? I don't know if you can see that. Did I selfie and backflip though? No, so, so you, didn't do a, you didn't do a selfie. Uh. So I took a selfie while I was rope swinging. Yeah, boy. We talked about the omens. So I think spiritually we didn't be successful because of that, but I also think that logistically, our biggest downfall was this gentleman right here. I don't know if you can see that, Mark. <laughs> the worst portrait of Ferg. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. This is what the perfect male body looks like right here. This is it. This is the epitome of style. This is the epitome of everything. I think I'm gonna smile like that in all my photos now. <laughs> so Fergie Kancade, he was, head of logistics, okay? We went to him and said, hey, we want to do the triple threat. If anybody could hook it up, it'd be Fergie, for sure. He'd probably say yeah. He's a yes man. Fergie being a pretty cool cat, I'm pretty sure he's gonna give us the A-OK. -okay. Should be doable. I mean, we have all the locations, it's just a matter of getting there. It's gonna be probably one of the coolest days we've had. To be honest, we've had some pretty cool days. He really did set us up to succeed, and he is not the weatherman. No. If this is your weather, man, you're having some serious issues, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna rain every gonna rain single every day. Every freaking time. Yeah. Let's get, uh, let's get Fergie Cancade on the line because he's our guest. We're not just gonna show you a cute little photo of him. Oh, there he is, Whoa. ladies and gentlemen. Look. Hey, hey look. Fergie. Hey, How are you? Yeah, boys, I'm doing well. How are you? <laughs> you yeah. like this photo? <laughs> this is the apex, right, of your life? <laughs> that, is, that is the absolute apex of my life. It has just been straight downhill real fast since then. I actually told Mark last night I was going to keep him until he won the Olympics. Can we talk about episode seven really, really quick? Because uh, <laughs> there's so funny. many, so many really, funny. really fun things. What do you remember from that? This is the first question I asked Mark when we started, because it's kind of hazy. Seven years is a long time. One of the things I remember the most that I thought was the funniest was just like how bummed everyone was when we realized we couldn't get to the Fino. Dude, that Mark is definitely a little bit bummed about this. He was really looking forward to going surfing. 
And I just remember Mark like sitting on the dock and like there was sad music playing in his ears and we were all just so <laughs> buff that like we had just flown up, skated this rad spot on a lake and we we're still just like so devastated and sad. Can't win them all and at least we have a nice dock here for him to sit on and be emo for a little bit, you know, think about things. Totally, Blink-182 is pumping in my head. <laughs> Which track? I miss you. <laughs> you know what actually sticks out so much to me too is when we're on the glacier and like, I'm like thinking big picture, riding that spine and Craig's like digging this little highway hit. What's your game plan here for digging this out? It's not gonna be big by any means, but. Okay, well, let's stop right now then. It took Craig 45 minutes to build that jump and it couldn't have been bigger than three inches. Okay, I'm just gonna go really small. Well, you're right, you went really small. Thanks, man. Yeah, because I'm on a glacier. It's an ice cube. He was cube. digging out a freaking tunnel for a four-foot backside rodeo. And guess who got upside down, hey? And guess who got a scenic heli shot of them riding a spine in freaking July? Is that a spine? I didn't know that. I think it was. I and that honestly, was I was proud of that shot because it looked pretty neat and I was throwing buckies. I was surfing the wave even though we couldn't get to the Tofino to surf. I have to say that carve, I was more impressed with that than with Craig's trick so far, because at least Mark landed it. We throw this crazy idea triple threat at you and you say, okay, I can make it happen. How hard was planning that? You know, I mean, I think on paper it felt pretty easy, but that fog really was a bit of a logistical nightmare. Weather seems to be always sort of the, the X factor, you know, in this. And I'm trying to work on being able to control it, but it's not panning out great. I want to bounce back to that comment. How close are you to controlling the weather currently? Uh, I'm getting there. That's part of this beard I'm growing. I figure if you, right. if you have a beard, you probably get a bit closer. Well, to you resemble uh, old man winter more, right? right? That's, that's what I think, yeah. Yeah, dress for the job you want, not the job you have. All right, let's take a look at what I thought my bad omen is. Seven years later, I didn't do a flip off the rope swing, albeit I was trying to take a selfie, but I think I should have went back and done that. Uh, so let's watch that clip right now. Drop it in, three, two, one. Oh, that is a scary ass rope swing. See, <laughs> I took a selfie there. You did take a selfie. You could see that pivotal moment though that you kind of like pulled out from trying to flip it. Hello. Oh, he's going double. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> nice, bud. Top-notch performance of the athletes on that one, you know? They're a little nervous going into it, and they crushed it. Obviously, I didn't do a backflip there, and you know, it's been bugging no, me. You so didn't. Uh, I went, I went up uh, to that rope swing. Unfortunately, it has been cut down by somebody that Mason Machan was talking about. We talked about it on the truck on the way up. That's right. Mars. Yeah, Mothers Against Rope Swings. Yeah. They are yeah. gaining some traction, that organization. They are, they are, they are an 18 wheeler coming down the hill and there is no pull out. They are just going full steam, cutting down trees like they're in the logging industry. It's crazy, man. So I texted Mason Michon, our hero, our savior of episode seven, in my opinion. Oh boy. Hey pal. I don't mind helping these guys out. You know, they're looking for something to do and it seems like the right choice. And he showed me the direction of a new rope swing. I went there and then tried to do that. Let's take a look at that, see if I impress you. Look let's, free. yeah, let's have a look. A victim, the platform of the Loggers Lake rope swing lies lifelessly, cold blooded. The rope swing may be dead, but the animals are alive at Loggers Lake. Behold. You know, it's not what we thought we were gonna do today. Not gonna lie. I didn't think I'd be at this rope swing, but you gotta make do with what's available. This one could almost have a sketchier takeoff platform. This is sketchy, okay. First swing went good. I'm still alive, that's good. Uh, now it's time to break this omen. Let's do a backflip. Well, hopefully that breaks the omen. I didn't flip off the rope swing in the episode. I did here now in Whistler. Back to you in the studio, Craig. <laughs> that guy is good looking, eh? Uh, I think you look better. Oh, thank you. A lot of similar traits there. Nice backflip, Craig. Thanks for the throw. Mark, is it time to do this? Is it time to watch this episode? Episode seven. Let's go. Triple threat. 
This is Saskatchewan. They say it's so flat here, you can watch your dog run away for three days. Possibly the last place you'd expect to find a couple of pro snowboarders. But you know what? We're prairie kids. And prairie kids can send it. My brother Mark is sitting on the peak of professional snowboarding right now, about to drop in. The best. I have a dream come true of a job. Mark and me get to travel around the whole world with our guys. Pretty much have as much fun as we can, and that's all we do. Oh, We're not going to be young, healthy, extremely good looking for our whole lives, so you got to carpe YOLO. You know, carpe diem, but you only live once. currently in beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia, BC for short, if you didn't know. I'm super stoked to meet up with Fergie. You know, he is just a gem. He's a fine ruby. We're in town for Celebration of Light, which is a big firework festival on English Bay. But then on top of that, we've got skateboard jam called Jamcouver, a bunch of things going on at night. It's gonna be awesome. I've been working with Celebration of Light to bring in our stunt pilot, Pete McLeod. He's gonna fly a crazy show over English Bay for everybody. He's probably so jacked up right now. Oh, he's fired up. <laughs> Greg's been up in Whistler, and it's close by to Vancouver, so I figured get him down here, we can hang out for the week. Pistol Pete is ready to go. I wonder if he thinks about, like, oh, I forgot to get milk. Stunt flying is probably one of the gnarliest sports in the entire world. You got a lot of equipment going real fast in the air. You're not on the ground. It's been awesome to link up with Craig again. You know, it's just like boisterous and it's insane and he's all over the map. So it's just what I need. I would love to go up there. We could probably get you up there. Why did I even bring it up? Why don't we get you up with me? We're going to try to put this plan together, see if we can get Craig up in the plane, freak him out a little bit. I don't know how I feel about getting an airplane that I weigh more than. That's kind of in my head right now. I've got butterflies in my stomach. <laughs> I'm just excited to see like our facial expressions when we're doing like big loops and stuff. Just, oh. yeah. If there's one plane I would want to go up in, it's one with Pete, because I know that that guy's dialed. All right, we should see who can take the best selfie okay. while flying either upside down or sideways, or you just can't be flying upright. Going upside down at 200 miles an hour, it is mental. I'm just so scared. <laughs> I want to, but I don't want to. It's going to be a lot of fun, I think. All right, here we go. That is an incredibly small aircraft. Hey, guys. Hey, Pete. How you doing? Good. I'm Pete McLeod. Hey. I'm a uh, yeah. freestyle aerobatic and race pilot. Freestyle aerobatics is similar to like freestyle motocross or uh, skiing or anything, but just in an airplane. We're going to have some fun in this thing. You guys ready? I don't know. <laughs> I just don't even know what I was thinking. Got a double bacon agar, a large coffee. It's just sitting like a brick in my gut right now. This thing's ready to party. OK, we got a question for you, though, because yeah. like, is there any way you could tell us, hey, we're going to be upside down right now. You should take a selfie. Yeah, we can put some G on you, okay. flip you around. Craig has a few more selfies under his belt, only because he's a McMorris. And as a breed, they tend to take selfies. I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just getting ready to go up, and for me, there's no rules on it, basically. Just don't hit the ground and have fun. They all procedures, if there's a reason that we're going to do that, I'll open the canopy. The canopy's going to, like, fly off. Okay. And at that point, you jump clear the airplane, pull, the chute will open ahead, and you just float down. When you say jump clear the plane, is that like I'm going to try and jump up and over the tail fin without getting it right in the nuts, or? Yeah. And if you see me go, follow. Okay. <laughs> Pete was definitely talking about getting out of the plane more than getting into the plane, which is odd. All right, man. You all set, Craig? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do it. We get in the plane, I'm strapped down. I feel like my pelvis is gonna get torn in half because I'm so jacked in here. I'm like, there's no way I'm gonna even lift off the seat a little bit. Another thing that scared me was Peter's never flown this plane before. Uh, you all set? Ready to go up there? Yeah, ready to go. Belts are good, everything's still happy? Yeah. We took off and it was just mental. It was just like up in the air, you're like 2,000 feet above the ground in like two seconds. The thing is so powerful and fast. All right, so we're gonna get right into this. Okay, we'll first just do a roll. Ooh. Holy shit. Well, uh, son of a bitch. A little bit fast there. That was about half speed. Yeah. Okay, we'll do another one the other way. 
How you feeling? Feel really good, Pete. All right, man. I love that G feeling, though. That is so sick. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. All right, let's do some it. Yeah. <laughs> Over Pit Lake, up in the mountains, like the nicest thing ever. So, uh, let's get that selfie. Get that selfie. Ready? Go. <laughs> Come on, get another one. All that is separating me from the ground is like a piece of plastic, and I just take a picture. Duck face, peace sign. <laughs> it is just insane. That was so sick. Craig and Pete popped around the corner towards the hangar there, and uh, you know you could see a little bit of smoke coming out of the wheel cowling there. Oh. Can you there? There's like kind of like smoke, but I like that's normal, right? Like nothing's happening. And then all of a sudden, I see a guy grab a fire extinguisher and come running out of the hangar. And then they're like, "Yeah, there's a fire under the plane." And Pete's like, "Should I check it out?" And I was like, "I didn't know what to do. I was about to pull my parachute or something like that. <laughs> Make it a lot worse." We got a hot break fire, so that's just shit luck, you know. So what does it mean? Do you think we're gonna get up there? Or do you think uh, we're uh... gotta have a serviceable plane? That so. <laughs> that's important to me. I was looking forward to that. Hopefully, there's another time and I'm just gonna have to snap a selfie and text it to Craig and hopefully it stacks up with his. That was fun, Fergie. Thank you, buddy. I'm sorry. Ah, it's all good, bud. Next time. Next time. Ping pong tournament tonight. $10 buy-in. Winner takes all. So if you win, you stay on the table. You, you own the table until you lose. Mark and Mai's introduction to ping pong is because of Don the Diesel McMorris. He bought us a table for Christmas, and uh, that was our winter activity because you really can't do anything else outside, so we might as well play ping pong in a basement. I am way better at ping pong than Mark McMorris is, and that's an absolute fact. Just got into van after a long day of traveling. I rolled in and Craig was kind of owning the ping pong table as he should be until I rolled up. So I'm playing these ping pongers and I'm winning but I'm losing energy. Mark shows up, everybody's stoked, Mark's here. And by this time, my hair's in my eyes, I'm sweating, focus is shot. And Mark gets on the table and ping pong is 100% confidence and I simply didn't have 100%, I had 99 and that 1% got me. He was like Rocky, he got the championship fighter tire and he was up against the ropes, but he rockied me. He rocked me. How did it feel to lose? Dude, it was just the light. Bullshit, I heard you claim that you're gonna beat me. <laughs> you call it <laughs> It's another beautiful day on planet Earth here, Vancouver. It's just a treat to be spending some time with Mark. We did the ping pong last night. You know I let him win, get his confidence up. So I think we're gonna go out, and have a non-competitive event out here and canoe, but I'll probably be faster. Are we on the ocean right now? We're on a large body of water. Just have a little drink, see if she's salty. Oh yeah, that's a salty dog right there. Can I catch up with him and talk on some brother terms today and decide what's up for the rest of the week? What do you wanna do this week, pal? We should go surf if we're here. I want to surf in Canada. I have yet to do that. We should do that. We should go surfing. I have never been to Tofino. That's where you do it here, right? Yeah. You could skate around there for sure. You could skate in Tofino, but I know this dam, that's like the coolest like natural feature. It'd be so sick to skate there. When was the last time you were up on the glacier? Let's try and do like three shreds one day. Why are you tipping this thing? I'm not tipping it. Being in Vancouver, we got the ocean, we got amazing skate parks and uh, beautiful Whistler Mountain. We're gonna see if we can surf, skateboard, and snowboard three shreds in one day. Three shreds one day has been on the mind for many of years. You can't do even two in one day in Saskatchewan. If anybody could hook it up, it'd be Fergie, for sure. He'd probably say yeah. He's a yes man. Fergie being a pretty cool cat, I'm pretty sure he's gonna give us the A-OK. -okay. I think he's headed out to Jam Cooper. We should probably go check it out. I could be into that. How's the paddling up there, big fella? Oh, oh my God, Nelly. Fergie being a man of power, he has his hands in everything, and today's no different. He is part of Jam Coover. It's a skateboard event contest. It sounds pretty cool, and there's gonna be a lot of people that we know there, so it'll be fun to go down and check it out and see some really good skateboarding. Mark and I have never tried to do three shreds in one day, but if anybody can make it happen, it's gonna be our boy Fergie. It's all gravy in mine and Craig's head, but the real test is we need the okay from Fergie. He's the logistics man, and this adventure is full of logistics. 
Fergie. What are the chances of us seeing three shreds in one day? Like what? What do you mean? I want to surf, skate, snowboard. Like, could we put it together for one day? I mean, it's definitely possible. We got Tofino close by. We got Whistler close by. In my job, I am lucky enough to have a lot of weird requests come my way. And awesome enough that usually I can make it happen, which is pretty sweet. Should be doable. I mean, we have all the locations. It's just a matter of getting there. It's going to be probably one of the coolest days we've had. To be honest, we've had some pretty cool days. It is the crack of dawn. That's a little after the crack. So as it stands right now, there's tons of fog in Tofino. We're just waiting on our pilot to uh, give us the okay and say, get in the plane, let's get going. But right now, it's super foggy and it's not looking that good. Pretty big hiccup for us because trying to do three shreds in one day is pretty heavy on the time side of things. So wait for the fog to clear in Tofino and hopefully come back there. Ready to go and we've already come to a delay. Kind of shitty. Who knows when this fog's gonna roll off and we gotta get our three shreds going ASAP. Almost skate time, boys. This is the most drastic adventure I've ever been on to ride my skateboard, to say the least. Holy shit, that is beautiful. That was incredible. I felt like I was Gandalf and some dragon was going to fly beside her plane or something like, you shall not pass, but it was beautiful. How chill is it just landing on the lake? That was incredible. Nice landing. Terry just put her down real smooth there for us. And now we're going to go get these guys skating. Where do you think this dom is? Right there. Okay. We landed here at Alouette Lake, and now we're gonna go find this dam and get these guys skating. How do we get there? We're gonna have to get a little wet, I think. Wow. Go for a little dip. All right, that's that. I'm gonna strip down right here. So we get to the dam, and there's this big fence that's like blocking our entrance, and we have to go around it. I think I need a tuck and roll out of this one. This is so sick. Oh, yeah, boy. That is so sick. crazy. Hey, drop in. So this dam is pretty gnarly. It's big, it's steep, it's fast, it's a little dirty, and it's really rough. But me and Mark like to bite off a little bit more than we can chew. What's a cool trick? Get going here, Craig or Bear. You're wasting time. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. We're running a little bit low on time here for this skate mission, but hopefully, you know, in the next five minutes or something, they can do something that'll impress me. Maybe a little bit of positive support would be nice. <laughs> yeah, Craig! Let's give everyone a big shock, bro. That was really sick. You know what, it's just hard to impress him, but once you see him smile and he says he's proud of you, it's just like a dad giving you a dilly bar. Great session, guys, that's good. Let's head out. Time is always of the essence. We got a little bit of hourglass, the sand slipping away, and we need to get in the plane ASAP. Done deal here, absolutely rad skate spot. We're trying to rush to Tofino now. We don't know what the fog stitch is like. Gotta get into some service range. Dying to get in the water and go for a surf. Praying it all works out. Yeah, I think that's all we're gonna get done. Tofino's bad weather. Bad weather, hey? Bad weather. And it's not getting any better. No. It's not cool anymore because we're doing everything on land now. Nothing water based. Dude, that. Mark is definitely a little bit bummed about this. He was really looking forward to going surfing, but can't win them all, and at least we have a nice dock here for him to sit on and be emo for a little bit, you know? Think about things. Terry went and checked the weather, and he said it's all good to go up in Whistler, so let's bomb up there before fog rolls up there or something starts snowing. A Little bit of a hiccup in the morale. Not giving up on the three shreds, but it might just have to be a different shred. You know, we just gotta get in there, figure out what we can do, and then uh, move on with our day.
Farewell. Take care, guys. See ya. What do you guys think about going to the rope swing, maybe, and jumping in the water? Sounds kind of refreshing and nice. Is that a smile? Is that a smile from Pouty McGee? I'm gonna call Mace and find out if right. he's around. Hello? Mace. Hey. What's up, What's bud? What's up? Oh, not much. Just working at home. Sweet. You want to go work at a rope swing for a little bit, maybe? Yes, I do. Fergie just jumps on the call, gets us a sick hookup with Mason, his buddy. We're going to jump in the truck and go to some sick cliff jumps and a rope swing. The most Whistler-esque thing you can do. Oh, boy. Hey, pal. These guys got skunked on their surf session, so I don't mind helping these guys out. You know, they're looking for something to do, and it seems like the right choice. Is this one gnarly, Mace? Kinda. It just comes like pretty close to the tree. They always cut it down, like. Oh really? Like who cuts it down? The mums. <laughs> <laughs> Probably my mom. <laughs> yeah. Based on how gnarly this rope swing is, oh. Oh. I'd say it constitutes shredding. Is that where you start from up there? Yeah. Holy. Holy. We are here now, and I'm scared. I just don't even know how to describe it, really. So you want to shoot in between these trees and not find yourself in the rhubarb. It looks super sketchy not hitting this tree. I think the hang time is going to be large, but you got to thread the needle between two trees, and that's kind of scaring me right now. Looks like I was already in the water, but that's just urine in my pants. Because this is gnarly. I'm actually kind of scared. This boys are from the prairies. <laughs> Struggling a little bit, even though it's not that bad. <laughs> Drop it in three, two, one. Yeah. Oh, boy. Nice, Greg. Oh, that's so fun. <laughs> here we go, Marky Poops. Wind's coming up here, buddy. The chopper's running. YOLO. Oh, he's going double. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> nice, bud. Top-notch performance of the athletes on that one, you know? They're a little nervous going into it, and they crushed it. Oh, oh buddy! It's getting late in the afternoon. We got to get up on the glacier, and the time is ticking. The chopper's going to pick us up in half an hour. So in the back of my head, all I can hear is Arnold Schwarzenegger going, get in the chopper. We are gonna swiftly hop in that thing and get up on the glacier and try to bang out this third shred. It's just all about getting up there, seeing what we have to work with, and uh, getting creative. We're up on top, where we wanna be. Team's looking good. I think a little heli ride always sort of rejuvenates people a little bit. What's your game plan here for digging this out? It's not gonna be big by any means, but. Okay, well, let's stop right now then. It's a lot of work to get up here, you know? You have to spend some time building this beautiful, probably 60, 70 foot jump here. So when they're not uh, fully in the game, it's a little bit tough to see. Okay, I'm just gonna go really small. JK. Well, you're right. You went really small. Thanks, man. He's uh, just really not fully committing to this here. Craig, you know how fast you went that time? Yeah. Go like 10 times faster and then 100 times cooler. Two of the biggest goobers out here not taking advantage of the natural terrain we have at hand. I have to say that carve, I was more impressed with that than with Craig's trick so far, because at least Mark landed it. That was sick, bro. I'm gonna hit my jump now, my kicker. <laughs> We're on a glacier, so it's kind of tough to land, but you know what, excuses are for losers. I'm gonna hike back up there and try a couple more. Do you know what we could do what? right now? So we could try to take a double selfie. That is a way better idea than trying to do a shitty backside rodeo. Yeah. I'm not trying to impress anybody, except for Fergie, who I'm really trying to impress. Ready, Ferg? Yeah. I'm recording on both devices. <laughs> Pretty good. Every day has to come to an end, and this is ours. Oh my god! That was sick! But at the end of the day, it has been a good day. 
people said, no, they're never going to do it, and we didn't. That's the thing. <laughs> and they're completely right. <laughs> yeah. Although it's been a lot of fun, I'm sort of looking forward to wrapping this one up. <laughs>